The testimony in Jerry Sandusky's child sex abuse trial is now over. The defense just rested its case without the former Penn State assistant football coach taking the stand in his own defense. As ABC's T.J. Winnick details, closing arguments are soon to begin. Jerry Sandusky will not take the stand in his own defense. His attorney, Joe Amendola, insists his client wanted to, but was overruled by his team of lawyers. Having the accused not testify may be a good strategy in this case. In past interviews like this one with the New York Times, Sandusky's answers only raised more questions. If I say, no, I'm not attracted to boys, that's not the truth because I'm attracted to young people, boys, girls. Still, a lawyer for one alleged victim believes the prosecution's case has been so strong, the accused child molester and former football coach had nothing to lose. I think that the defendant is on uh, his own one yard line. So that would indicate that he would take the stand. Sandusky's wife, Dottie, did take the stand Tuesday, telling jurors the house she lives in with her husband was not the scene of multiple sexual assaults and that she never heard young men screaming from the basement. During cross examination, Mrs. Sandusky said she doesn't know why the boys would lie about her husband, but said of the accuser known as victim number four, he was conniving, demanding, wanted his way. The judges told the jury they will get this case tomorrow and they will be sequestered as they deliberate, even through the weekend if need be. TJ Winnick, ABC News, New York.